20 years after Dayton, my first question would be, what else can be said about Dayton that has not been said a thousand times? Uh, well, what's obvious, Dayton was adapted to stop the war. And that in that, it has succeeded. But our primary concern today is how to make successful future for Bosnia-Herzegovina. And there are two camps, those who are saying in name of a successful future, Dayton must not be changed, and those who are saying the opposite, in name of successful future, Dayton must be changed. I'm not going to join either of the two camps. What I want to say is that uh, we want a European future for Bosnia-Herzegovina. I do not see any credible perspective other than within the European Union and eventually NATO. For that, we need a functional society, functional constitution. All countries that have joined the European Union have, at a certain point, amended, uh, changed their constitutions. I think it's normal, it's logical, and I think this is inevitable for Bosnia-Herzegovina. So uh, let's not look into the past anymore uh, and leave history to the historians, and let's uh, demand that politicians deal with the future of this country. Let's learn from those who have joined the European Union uh, how in, in what direction they have changed their constitutions and, and, and follow their example. Be grateful uh, to the architects of Dayton uh, because they really prevented further bloodshed. Uh, but uh, let's really not waste time anymore about these discussions. Politicians have different responsibilities. And uh, when I look back at my times here in Bosnia-Herzegovina as the high representative and EU special representative, I, I try to put emphasis on on the European hat rather than on, on the Dayton hat, because I really believe that uh, our challenge, our responsibility is to look into the future rather than to, to be turned back into the past.